starting our day off with a geocaching find overlooking Kelowna before we head down to the west side of Okanagan Lake to Penticton. Come along with us on this new adventure from BC. For this geocache, before we head into the gulch, we have to get some information from the other side of the bridge at a sign, because this is a multi-cache. A multi is one that we kind of usually avoid, but now we're getting them and we'll explain why. From the sign, we got the information for the numbers we needed in order to calculate the coordinates for the final, which are down the trail and into the gulch. Let's go take a look. Cache description says that uh, reception could be a bit iffy on your phone, so I've got the cache coordinates programmed into the GPS as well, just in case. But so far, I'm getting a good signal, and the geocaching app is taking us right to ground zero. Geocache! Yay! <laughs> she got it! She's pretty good geocacher. Yep, I think we'll keep her. Yep. Usually when we go geocaching, we just go find anything. But this time, we're going for something specific. This particular geocache is a one, two and a half multi. And we're targeting it specifically. And you might ask, well, why? It's a one, two and a half. There's nothing special about it at all. But if you look at your fizzy grid, it's made up of all the geocaches you have found and all the specific 81 ratings that you could possibly get. But if you go onto Project GC, you can look up a grid on your stats that will give you six different grids other than the main one. It will give you traditionals and uh, it, where it goes and earth caches and virtuals, but it also give you one that gives you specifically the fizzy made up of completely just multis. So that's what we're starting to look at now. If you look at ours right here, the grid is vacant of a one, two and a half multi. So we've targeted this one on our way down to Penticton just because of its rating. And it brought us to an amazing location, which is a bonus, of course, and that's what geocaching can do for you. We had a great event while we were here in Penticton, and you can check that one out on our One Minute Wednesday, and the link for that is right up here. Right now, we're going down the boardwalk of Penticton along the beach and beautiful Okanagan Lake to a geocache that is just come out. And we've been told it's not in the wall. That is a really good one. Oh, yeah. That is very camouflage. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. This is an official game piece. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at the camo. It's it's actually a piece of wood. Yeah. And it and blends it, right in. And it goes into the hole that was already in the tree. We hope. Be happy. Brief stop.
stop for lunch, and a great lunch it was. Now we're exploring a little bit more of Penticton through the Adventure Lab, and we're starting off here at the Steamboat, the paddle wheeler on this end of the lake, and with three locations, two further up, and then we're gonna go to the top of the hill and the Penticton sign for an earth cache and a traditional. You have to check out the bark on this tree. Have you ever seen a crochet bark tree? Check it out. Boy, that's a work of love. The whole tree's trunk is covered in crochet. Or is that knitting? I don't know, what do I know? Quick find at the bridge to Ikeda with the crocheted tree. <laughs> the things you see, geocacher. No visit to Penticton would be complete without a hike up Munson Mountain to check out the Penticton sign and the beautiful view here. Of course, to get the earth cache and there's a traditional. Hey, it's not Hollywood, but still it's pretty cool, eh? Penticton. From high up in the air, you can read it. Can't so much here, but there is a traditional, I think, right back here. I got 11 meters still. Oh, maybe it's up there. <laughs> got it. Don't lose your hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's pretty windy up here. Another great adventure here in BC, eh? Quite the hike up the hill. Yeah, you can't come to Penticton without going up the hill. We don't say it enough, but thank you to all our patrons. We really do appreciate their support and their names roll at the end of every episode. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to become a patron of Cash Canada, you can go to patreon.com slash Cash Canada. Thanks for joining us again here in British Columbia. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?